I don't know. It seems a little forced no, to man. me. It's finally the season for topsicles again. I think he's got like three of them. A topsicle. <laughs> You're gonna get a stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a Sorry, bitch. <laughs> How did it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. Is that you, Teddy? Oh, oui, uh -huh. monsieur. How do I look? <laughs> I like you better before. Say <laughs> magnifique. Uh, don't encourage him. Please. <laughs> I'll encourage him all I, I want. Say, it totally actually, throwing mind. out this real but quick, in the original still, Japanese, that was actually the third option, was actually ordeal. just plainly Everything brilliant new, in English. So it turned into a big mess. <laughs> Not katakana. He was so excited English. in the women's <laughs> section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form, got it? Well, he can't help it. What's it's this about forms? It's a suit. You put it on and zip right. it up. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I think that. we're talking about his human form here. I never here. said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. Man, if you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Oh, now, don't you encourage him. Yeah, don't. What do you think, Kanji? <laughs> huh? What are you asking me for? I'm well, freaking I Kanji. I will smack you. I just wonder if he was your time. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> <laughs> it translated well on my side, too. It ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. Sorry. I think she's I know, more laughing at his response. Yeah, really. You'll have to forgive Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. I don't think that's what they're <laughs> fighting over. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> I have to go with her on this one. This is just hilarious. Kanji don't discriminate. He'll beat up all of y'all. Jeez. Oh well. Here, Kanji. Get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. <laughs> We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. <laughs> wow. You're rich! That's like handing him a buck. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for, for Teddy. For what, like ten dollars? Yeah, it's ten around bucks. making a racket. Roundabout. I, I don't Whoa, keep up with... Yosuke, what's Actually, I think you? last I heard, the um, like dollar was sense. actually oh, better I, off. So it's probably closer to... Still nice to Teddy. Well, I'm glad Probably closer to like 10 50. Into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. <laughs> what? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We we didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. <laughs> yes, of course. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that! How does she do that? When did she get that what information? Else are we supposed to do? I'm assuming she could have just said, even for you know, Yosuke will cover it, put it on his account. Does anybody you even do that anymore? You can, I guess, if you're you good enough that? friends or something, no, but. Been saving up to buy a motorcycle? Been saving up to buy a motorcycle? Oh, please, you can barely you handle know? a bike. <laughs> really? What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over it. Shut up! This is your fault, you know! Yeah, we're not uh, fighting you over here, you. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. I think he will. <laughs> Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. Freaking topsicles. Don't do that again. I, I will have to hit you for that. Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. Almost like an old married couple. 
You were like almost going to walk into that pole. I think it would be better than dealing with this group here. It's like Yukiko just barely skirted the left side of it. You were going straight at it. Uh, I had a feeling you'd come. Oh, hey, it's that kid from when Kanji yeah. was disappeared. Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Risei Kujikawa now? Ingratiate? I like him. Jeez, why did the clerk he's even well versed in speaking? Else? <laughs> See, even he's huh? lampshading the fact that the clerk Wait. let it charge. <laughs> You're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. Well, you've got to cut out, so you're important. Obviously. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. I'm still gonna call That's you- That's the kid that they brought in? Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? I'm still gonna call you Jojo. The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? Kinda hard so to miss him. So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Moraoka has never appeared on television. Oh, he knows. Crap. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? <laughs> well, we'll leave it at that. He knows too much. Kill him. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Crap. Well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Well, he is a detective, so I'm assuming he oh, could put hi. the piece together pretty well. He knows too much. Kill him. Hey, and Reese okay all better. Now? Hooray! Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? Did we ever There's tell her not to tell, tell anyone else about Follow the whole me. being inside My a TV thing? My grandma's taking care of the shop today. I think... Huh? Sure, okay. If not, it goes without saying. I mean, who would believe her? I mean, she's going on holiday. She's pretty much going on holiday from her career for stress-related stuff, so, you know, you could say she's gone cuckoo. Just watch out for the fox, guys, all right? He's usually up there. And yeah, just keep, keep your eyes up. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though... I was already in the other world. Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. See, even she's Actually, smarter than he you. he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like... They found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. <laughs> it's the electronics department, but whatever. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! That's a shot of enthusiasm huh? this group Aww, needed. Oh, you don't have to thank us. <laughs> Dude, she's so cute. Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Probably. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. Does that mean her persona's gonna go crazy again? <laughs> no need to apologize. Dang. Just do what comes naturally. Going crazy right here in the real world. Giant epic battle at the shrine. You don't have to force yourself Police to pulling up. Just one. Seeing four teenagers <laughs> with stands. It sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, 
Scout, we almost forgot your present. The Teddy glasses. Um, you, They're you Teddy brand glasses. Them, but, well... Probably um, are. He's running a factory. Um... Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. <laughs> or that you have bad eyesight. <laughs> Don't like one of us. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. Makes you wonder if one of them did have glasses, what would Teddy do? <laughs> I can fight in the fog, but I can't see for crap. It's like, okay, so he's got to get your prescription. Ranku up! Investigation team's on a roll. Even though our last roll was about a murder that happened, but whatever. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, alright? <laughs> I do owe you my life, so, you know. Okay, now this one. Um, you want to say, leave it to me, if at all possible. Get a courage up for it. <laughs> That's what I was going to say anyway. <laughs> Yes! Wow! I didn't realize you were so cool, Senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. What with the murder Kidnappings, and all. King Moron's death... All that and exams are soon, too. Son of a bitch, exams! Dang! That's the worst of all now that I'm group in there. Myself. I was like, I wonder if there's any chance they'll be- Murder's kidnapped. pillage! <laughs> House is burning down, Apocalypse is coming, and exams! <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Actually, they're different because they pay for uh, test your knowledge. Discuss the case some more tomorrow I was just learning to, you know, punch something until it stopped punching back. Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six. So I still win. <laughs> Everything's a contest no with Kanji. We're all done talking already. Let's go, Senpai. Uh, when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? So, where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well... I guess I'll take him home. Just kick him back in the TV. Also, did he ever eat? As a bear? No, I don't think so. That could explain why he's, like, kind of hungry. Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has Inaba. claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. Well, we were quite happy right. with that. We were trying, but we are just a couple high school kids. his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims, I still can't believe that happened. What's wrong? Was it... someone you know? <sighs> he died? Yeah, we didn't exactly get along, but... Still, I mean, it's a loss of life. Is there anything with this one, or...? For this one, it's I am here with you. I'm all right. I was gonna pick that one anyway. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's. 
where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. I don't think anybody would go that in depth to try to kill him. Even if they were Dad student. won't be coming home again today. He's a witch! Burn him! Do it again! Do it again! Sorry about your TV. Uh... Is that that one with perspective? I I don't know. I think so. Hey, kind of like that, that whole tell thing. Me, tell me. Or whatever. I mean, you guys can't see what I was doing, but... Yeah, kind of, kind of yeah, that. Probably I, something I, like I that. think. Oh. Ah. Dude, let me dream in peace. Welcome. Ah. <laughs> it's been quite some time. It has. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Oh, well, that kind of alarms I me faster. Yeah, because it, wh how am I here now? And why are you here? It's usually just Margaret and a lot of drinking. Did you just are yank you my brain out? Or... To a solution to the I think it's like one of those astral things. Maybe? Well, we were right up until this one. I have to say yes. Unless it says something else. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. Then what do you think? To be honest, I don't know. Because we were drawing closer, but then with Morooka, well, I got nothing. Well, I have to say, we could consider it part of it, but since it was so drastically different... Rock, paper, scissors again? Alright. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay. One, one two, two, three. three. I said one, two, three, go! Okay, sorry. One, one two, two, three, three go. go! You win again, damn it. Indeed. The fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Oh man, I think I know what this is. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? A lot, the yeah. The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. Oh crap, I, I don't even like fusing three at this once. This will enable you to command even stronger powers. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. A lot of the and more powerful result, personas require you to choose four or more, mm. and sometimes specific personas await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Creeps me the crap out. <laughs> I don't know if he was supposed to be like that in the book or what. That was a long Sunday. That was a really long Sunday. Dude, she's got a bag too, like that. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. Just a little freaked out of a weird dream I had. That was kind of quick. Wasn't even a day. Yeah, usually, like, if a, I mean, you something usually like have that like happens, don't they give you, like, a day off school or something? I don't think so. I mean, 
mean, they didn't give us one for when Saki died, and she was a student. Mm. I just mean, they got one in so fast, it was like... Doesn't that usually take a while? Do they have some guy sub in for a while until they can arrange a new mm. one? Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. <laughs> if it's on the internet, it must be true. Good morning. I'm humana, Noriko humana, Kashiwabi, humana, humana, your boing. new class teacher starting today. Hello, Helba. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed I try. away, I'll be taking good care well, of Usopp you is instead. Krillin. <laughs> She's also okay. Major Kusanagi. Why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close that makes your it eyes, better. everyone. <laughs> That should be enough. <laughs> ah. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Nori-chan. <laughs> Actually, I can see oh, what his reasoning be behind tough that, for you. you know, to keep you but on track. that's mm. what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. <laughs> First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? It's more wishy-washy. Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? Well, you can tell this ain't gonna end well. <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? What's so great about an idol anyway, right class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. <laughs> What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Rise's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. I don't know. You know I'm pretty sure he would have treated her like he but treats everybody. That he got killed. And then go into the oh, you know teacher's what? lounge and Rizet go like, was on a strip tease show. <laughs> Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious. But the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. I think he had a it bad dream. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. Oh, dude, I you just realized they're lined up crap. like a Tetris piece. How friggin' <laughs> dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. <laughs> Trust me, Don't you were dreaming with this crowbar. Is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Crap. <laughs> I'm gonna give us a chance, are ya? <laughs> Next week. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Okay, is Kanji drinking yeah. like chocolate if milk by or something? A while, you mean all the time? I don't know, but Shut chocolate up. milk like is you've pretty ever great. Seen my scores. It is. Ever tried strawberry milk? Like That's the shit there. I don't like it quite as much as chocolate feel? milk. We're gonna have to have a fight about that. Hey, why did you tell him? My scores just vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Risei chan, you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Well, with the whole killing of monsters oh, yeah. and everything. Yeah. What do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that the crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I've 
really wonder Wait, both about of the them died the same way. Yeah. Why was okay. Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Because there's way too many people who hated King Moron's guts. Oh, there's a difference between hate and but hate for murder. didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. I like her. She's smart. Ah, <laughs> you sound like you speak from experience, Risei-chan. But with King oh, Moron, does. he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Uh, I don't get this at all. Yeah, two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. Really? The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And, and Yosuke shows some moron. adult emotions. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what! Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and- Not really. That won't be necessary. Ah. Well, crap. I figured you'd show up. You! There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why is that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. I have a suspect already? How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? <laughs> they found a suspect? Sit Who down. Is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved, and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. Don't buy it. Really. The suspect is a high schooler? Don't buy it. All right. So why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. It's not a freaking game. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say Why deny, further. considering he pretty much already... <clears throat> game? ...point blankly knows about it. are you the one who thinks it. of this as a game? <sighs> I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. What could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. Y Yosuke. A game. <laughs> that may be quite true. Why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? <laughs> Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests. And we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case, either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. 
I still don't buy it. What was that about? He just said his piece and left. Hmm. He said they have a suspect, but is this really gonna solve everything? Who knows? Welcome back. Oh man, it's been a long couple of days there. A lot of craps happened. A lot of craps been covered. Another murder's happened. Risei's finally gotten better. And Teddy's joined us in the fight now. I think and it's about got, time we call it a night. Now we've got this other person stepping all over our toes that knows too much about it. I think it's about time we call it a night. Yeah. Until next time, everyone.